So let's take a second to learn about hawk moths, which are one of the most underappreciated pollinators in the ecosystem. Um, they are also known as sphinx moths, hummingbird moths, and most people are familiar with the tobacco hornworm, which is one of the larvas you can find feeding on your tomato or pepper plants during the summer. Hawk moths are known for the incredible distances they are capable of traveling and for their very, very long proboscis or straw-like tongue that they use to sip nectar from flowers. When the hawk moth drinks from a flower, its proboscis will pick up pollen. That pollen can then be spread to flowers farther than 18 miles away as the hawk moth travels its feeding route. Now, hawk moths don't pollinate food crops, which is why they are less popular and talked about than insects that benefit the farming industry. But the moths are vital for the survival of many native plants. Without hawk moths, these plants will disappear, permanently changing diverse and unique habitats. One example, the red flowering Higo chimbo cactus lives on three islands off the coast of Puerto Rico. To survive, it needs pollinators that can fly across the ocean. Because they are sturdy and large, hawk moths can fly long distances and across island chains, making them the perfect pollinator for this cactus. The moths also pollinate the spiky Eggers century plant, an imperiled species of agave that only survives in small scattered populations on St. Croix in the Virgin Islands. Hawk moths are threatened by parasitic wasps and flies as well as pesticides, and once a species is extinct, its codependent plants will likely disappear too. Entomologists studying the elusive fabulous green sphinx moth shown here that lives in Kauai, Hawaii, suspect it is nearly extinct, leaving the critically endangered Vulcan palm with no natural pollinators. So the next time you have a creature munching on some of your garden plants, just remember that they are not all bad and they are probably filling the ecosystem in ways you may not be aware.